we are going to discuss few question and answer about mental health nursing or psychiatry mental health. It is important for NPLEX board exam. The first question say a man brings his wife to the facility and he reported that since the death of their seven month old daughter four weeks early, his wife has been neglecting her housework and family. Also has lost 20 pound as a result of not eating and has not left the house. She is admitted to the psychiatric unit with a diagnosis of depression. The nurse helps the client settle in. While watching the client unpack, the nurse expected her to exhibit. So number one, fast movement. Number two, slow movement. Also a desire to initiate a conversation with her roommate. Also a desire to unpack and arrange her belongs without assistance. The characters say the slow movement. So if you read this question, it reflects the patient is diagnosed with depression. And depression is a very common mental disorder that is affecting even more than 200 million souls in worldwide. Depression characterized by persistent sadness and lack of insight or pleasure in life. Or like this patient lost the interest about family and there are no activities. So uh, they said the nurse expect her to exhibit a slow movement. Right? So nursing intervention or how you take care of a patient who are depressed. So interaction with the client in a slow is low and firm tone. Also causing the patient to verbalize their feelings thinking or worried about what, using a broad leading statement or open-ended question. Also, we should maintain a therapeutic distance or exhibiting open posture. Right? When you deal with the patient who have the depression, keep note, do not hurry if the client when interacting or instead be patients are and slow a sense of empathy. So rational said, typically a depressed client exhibits slow movement and fatigue. Such a client also has a difficulty interacting, making decision and initiating independence action. Nursing intervention should be planned to assist and support the client as needed. To meet her basic need, although a client with agitated depression may exhibit increased activity. And this behavior is more common in the client with mania. Next question. Benzotropin is used to treat extra pyramidal effect induced by antipsychotic. Which drugs exhibit its effect by, number one, decreasing the anxiety causing muscle rigidity, blocking the cholinergic activity in the central nervous system, increasing the level of acetylcholine in central nervous system also, 
increasing norepinephrine in the central nervous system? So, correct answer is blocking the cholinergic activities in the central nervous system. So, benzotropin, it is the drugs used to treat the symptom of Parkinson's disease or involuntary movement due to the side effect of certain psychiatric medications like antipsychotic. So, so benzotropin is used to extrapyramidal effect. If you ask me, what is extrapyramidal side effect? So extrapyramidal symptom are the symptoms that are associated with the extrapyramidal system of the brain, like cerebral cortex, who, uh, which such symptoms are caused by medication or other drugs, right? And I said antipsychotic drugs can cause it. Antipsychotic drugs that are used to treat the symptom of psychosis, such as delusion, hallucination, paranoia, or confusion thoughts. Also, antipsychotic we use to treat the schizophrenia, severe depression, and severe anxiety. So, benzotropin blocks the cholinergic activities in the central nervous system. And rational said the benzotropin blocks the cholinergic activities in the central nervous system. And anxiety does not cause extra, um, extra pyramidal effect. Overactivity of acetylcholine and lower level of dopamine are the causes of extra pyramidal effect. Benzotropin does not increase norepinephrine in central nervous system. Next question. A client in the manic phase of bipolar disorder arrives at the outpatient psychiatric clinic to help the client manage a manic episode. The nurse should suggest that she go shopping with the friend Number two, read a book in a quiet room. Number three, reorganize a kitchen cabinet. Number four, play a game with a few friends. So the correct answer said, recognize the kitchen cabinet. So, Examiner asking question about the bipolar. So bipolar is a serious mental illness. We characterized by extreme mood switching. And they can increase the extreme excitement episode or extreme depressive feelings, right? And bipolar patient, sometimes they are depressed, sometimes they are manic. So this examine asking the question in manic episode. During the manic episode, they are both be elevated, expensive, irritable, and also patient sometimes distracted or hyperactive, inappropriate dress, also height of ideas. So as a nurse should suggest that she recognize the kitchen cabinet. So help the client manage the mini episode. So rational say recognizing the kitchen cabinet or painting a picture in a quiet environment um, 
environment which helps the client control her many behavior. Going to shopping in such uh, is much too uh, tempting an activity for this client who cannot control her behavior and is likely to overspread. During the many phase, a client with bipolar disorder lacked the concentration needed to read a book. Playing a competitive games may be overly stimulate and would make the client more hesitated. So it is very important the nursing intervention if your patient are bipolar disorder, right? We help the patient or help the client to maintain the focus or set limit. Also, we offer the finger fruits, canned fruits. We provide the quiet, non stimulus environment. Also, stay with your client. Also, use the silent as needed. Also, it is important to know we should remove harmful object, right? Also, we assist the client with the daily living activities as needed. Next question. Which herbal medication is sometimes used to treat depression? Number one. Ginkgo biloba, it, um, Echinacea, St. John's Wort, and Ephedra. So, what are the correct answers? So, St. John's Wort, we use to treat the depression, right? St. John's Wort is a herbal medication we also can use for wound healing, menstrual disorder, or for the depression. But when you prescribe St. John's Watt, or when you see your patient take that St. John's Watt, you should keep some note in your brain. Tell your patient if they took the St. John's Watt, avoid the sunlight. Right. Also avoid with hypertension or immunosuppression. Also, it is good to avoid the food containing tyramine with St. John's Ward. St. John's Ward decreases the effect of comadin. Like first one, ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba, we use to improve the blood circulation or improve attention span. And ginkgo biloba takes six to eight weeks to see the result. If your patient take ginkgo biloba, it is important to note contraindication in pregnant women Ginkgo biloba is a contraindication in pregnant women and children. Also, avoid the kumadin with ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba increases the effect of monoamine oxide inhibitor. Also, it is very important to educate your patient. Ginkgo biloba should hold for 36 hours before any kind of surgical operation. Number two, echinacea. Echinacea we use to blood purifier that fight the cold, also infection and cancer. If your patient take echinacea, it is important to educate them, avoid with some allergic, uh, if patients have an allergic history, better to avoid. It is contraindicated in the breastfeeding mother. Also, 
contraindicated with the immunosuppression. Next question. A depressed client in the psychiatric unit has not been getting adequate rest and sleep. To caressing the restful sleep at the night, the nurse should, number one, uh, talk with the client for a long time at the night to reduce his anxiety. Caressing environment stimulants during the evening. Number three, gently but firmly set limit on how much time the client spend in bed during the day. And number four, caressing the client to take anti-anxiety agents is needed at the bedtime. So number one, talk with the client for a long time at night. Definitely it is not answer. It makes sense, right? Not answer. Encouraging environmental stimulation, definitely no. We always provide quiet environment, non-stimulating environment. Number three and number four, why we choose number three, why not we choose number four? Both is correct, but why we do not choose number four? As a healthcare provider or as a RN, we always try to give the non-pharmacological management. Number four, encouraging the client to take anti-anxiety agents. It is pharmacological management, second line. But gently, but firmly set limit on how much time the client spend. It is the non-pharmacological management. So number three is a correct answer. A rational setting limit on how much time the client meets spend in bed and what time the client must get up in the morning, set, uh, le uh, let him know what is expected of him while conveying the genuine concern for him. Talking with the clients for a long time at the night would interfere with the sleep and give the client attention for not sleeping. Encouraging environment uh, stimulation in the evening would discourage the rest and sleep at night. While most anti-anxiety agents have sedating adverse effects. They are not intended for use as a sleep-induced agents. The next question here, a client receiving flu phenazine therapy developed the pseudoparkinsonism. A physician is likely to order which drugs to control this extra pyramidal Number one, phenytoin, number two, amantadine, number three, benzotropin, and number four, diphenphetamine. So correct answer said amantadine, right? So a client receiving flufenazine. Flufenazine is an antipsychotic medication. Basically, we use to treat the schizophrenia or psychotic symptom like hallucination, delusion, or any hostilities. And patient develop the pseudo Parkinsonism. So what it what it is? So it is a condition uh, is induced by drugs like antipsychotic drugs, we characterized by the symptom like those of Parkinson's disease. Example, Parkinson patient has a bradycardia, rest, resting tremor, or 
position instability, slow, stifling gait. But pseudo Parkinsonism patient has a essential tremor, myoclonus, or peritonic rigidity, slow and uh, stifling gait as well. So this patient, a physician likely to order which drugs to control antipsychotic syndrome and extrapyramidal syndrome means syndrome or symptoms that are associated with the extrapyramidal symptoms, systems of the brain like cerebral cortex. So how we treat it, we use the amantadine. Phenytoin we use for the scissor, right? Amantadine, an anti-Parkinson agent such as amantadine may be used to control pseudo-Parkinsonism. Um, Diphenhydramine or benzotropine may be used to control other extrapyramidal effects Phenytoin is used to treat the seizure activities. Next question. A nurse noticed that a severely depressed client is crying and asks what wrong. The client responds, well, it looks like my suspicions are about to be confirmed. When asked what he means, the client say he cannot talk about the matter. The nurse later notice a letter from the client spouse lying on the floor near the bed. The client is in session with the psychiatric and the nurse believes the content of the letter could offer the clue about the client, client's depression. What the nurse best course of action? Number one, read the letter and place it in the client bag. Number two, read the letter and document our findings in client chart. Number three, tell the client she found a letter on the floor, ask if she may read it. So number one, number two, number three, not a answer because you can't read the patient letter. It is not your right. So rest of one is that pick up the letter and place it on the client bedside table. This is the correct answer. Why? One, the basic client rights is the right to send and receive an opened mail. Placing the letter on the client bedside table is professional response. Reading the letter is inappropriate and violate the client's rights. Asking the client if the nurse may read this letter is too direct or invasive or may alienate the clients. The nurse might consider using indirect communication at a uh, later time and also invite the client to share the content of his letter if feels comfortable doing so. Next question, a physician order lithium carbonate for a client who in the manic phase of bipolar disorder. During the lithium therapy, the nurse should watch for which adverse reaction. So lithium is a mood stabilizer. Bipolar patient, one week depressed, another week manic. 
so they need the mode stabilizer so lithium is a drug of choice but if patient take the lithium what should be the sign symptom of adverse reaction weakness tremor urine retention number two anxiety restlessness sleep disturbance number three constipation lethargy ataxia number four nausea diarrhea tremor and lethargy correct answer say number four nausea diarrhea tremor and lethargy so the most common adverse effect of lithium are nausea diarrhea tremor and lethargy lithium does not cause weakness does not cause tremor uterine retention anxiety restlessness sleep disturbance or constipation and ataxia next question which client's statement leads a nurse to suspect depression number one my daughter said she is not coming to visit today because she needs to work late number two i just know my daughter does not love me in anymore number three i am very sad about losing my job but i know things will turn around for me number four at least not everything is in my life is bad so number four is a little bit hope and number three if anybody lose the job they will be sent nothing abnormal right so answer maybe number one maybe number two so my number one my daughter said she is not coming to visit today because she needs to work late so yes it is it is it, it is very common sometimes daughter say i will not come today right so nothing abnormal number one so no, correct answer is that number two i just know my daughter does not love me anymore it is not correct so people who are depressed typically express experience that cognitive distortion that commonly jump to negative conclusion without fact to so validate those conclusions they have all or nothing thinking in which they level all of the life events as bad they also predict the negative events and often assume that another person think and feel a certain way what next so a client with a catatonic schizophrenia and is mute and cannot perform activities of daily living and also uh stare out of the window for hour and what are the nursing first priority so my patient has a schizophrenia and also catatonic behavior so if you ask me what is catatonic schizophrenia so it is one of the feature of a serious mental illness we call schizophrenia and schizophrenia pre, uh, prevent from of patient from se uh, separating what are the real from what are not so they do not have any relation with reality or a state of mind we called psychosis and catatonic schizophrenia affect the way you move in extreme ways 
you maybe you or you you might stay totally uh, still or mute or you might get hyperactive for no reason catatonic nature so the question if patient habit what are the nursing first priority assist the client with feeding assist client with showering also reassurance the client that he is safe also encourage the client to socialized with his peers. Correct answer, assist the client with feeding. So according to the Maslow hierarchy of needs, the need for food is among the most important. Other needs in order to decreasing importance include hygiene, safety, and sense of belongs. So if my patient has a schizophrenia, as a healthcare provider, how we manage them, right? If patient has an acute attack, always we keep them hospitalizations. Also integrated approach is important. Family inter Once in, we can use some of the treatment. 